being brought into the team and That's just break off from that. Dynamic Porsche, isn't it? That is the dynamic Porsche running on Pirelli tyres and the 54 cars gone around. That car had the big incident last year with the Dacia, both cars back, although the Dacia a completely rebuilt one. Um, Max Hesse then staying with Dan Harper, Neil Verhagen in the States. Charles Fiat's but brought in, which on the outside sort of like... For advice, Dan Harper's got it out of the car. <laughs> it's, um, I'm going to refer back to Bruce's baby-faced assassin nickname here. It's Max you have that, aren't you? Yeah, it's wonderful. 72 now in the hands of Max Hess and uh, Maxi Marta, I think, in a... Yeah, Max now. Maxime was oh. getting ready. I thought, do they need some really serious overtaking? They're getting the Maxime out. A uh, bit of a slow, outbound uh, pit stop from the Ferrari and Nico Mensel knows that he's off the speed limiter and the apt Lamborghini also whizzing out there. The pit lane speed limiter uh, is at the end of the pit. Uh, in the end, we made the right decision to come in for the drying wet because um, it was just too much rain. And there is the 50... See, I've cursed that car just by talking about <laughs> it. First curse of the commentator, hashtag blame Hindhoff, on the Grand Prix <laughs> circuit. That is the leader in its class, the crossbow backless. looked at as well they'll be lucky if they've got away with and harper you've had to welcome in a new member of the team yeah, of the but yeah it's it's great for him that he's also doing a racing over there and he's doing very well so um yeah charles has fitted in very nicely uh, another car off the circuit and this is the 147 gt time motorsport by ws racing Part of the. Oh, I think we might get. Back. Ah, no, that's oh. the Hyundai, and not the same corner. No, I spoke too soon. <laughs> <laughs> You're learning quick, though, mate. In this, uh, in this game, uh, Verone, of course, the um, Argentinian Italian, and he. Well, that's uh, the. Uh, what I'm going to dub the pilot pa challenge car. Yeah, that's the Canadian car, yes. isn't it? Yeah. Well, part Canadian, part American. That's yeah. The red, the car that's mostly red. Pilot Challenge racing at Mid Ohio for four hours. Slick tyres and uh, the bunch of cars behind starting on wet weather tyres. The track was dry at the start finish line, certainly was chucking down at the back, and so we had a real juggle straight from the start. Uh, 61 second penalty for the number 227. That's a pit stop, minimum pit stop time penalty. They'll serve that next time around. What did I say? 227 uh, on that. That's the e fuel team, Greisman. Car. The Greisman family were out this morning in the classic, and also the 112 seems to be in a bit of trouble. Uh, yeah, they want some video evidence uh, from the car number 112, which is the K Kramer race to take that. Now, Maxi Goats has just had a little bit of an incident with the that's Verone again. Uh, Nico Verone mm. carving his way past. He has gone through. It wasn't an incident. It was just Verone picking the right line and carving his way past as if he was in a... I mean, that... Just doing its thing out on the north side. But that car is a, a, a Frankenstein's monster to an extent you would not believe. Like, it's a series one car. It's not the most up-to-date shape. Correct. Compromise. However, this guy next to me 
absolutely 10 tenths every breaking area every t and Adam I've got to say when I was sat there you know on Discord talking to you while you're in the car I just thought yeah that's why he gets paid to be a Mercedes <laughs> works driver there's another one problem for a 981 oh, yeah, yeah. But, but Peter Fig asks an interesting question as we've got a car off in the gravel his question is the reliability of the current GT3 cars does that lend itself to drivers like yourself having to make the desperate moves because of that lack of uh, attrition, let's say? You've, everything's down to the tenth. So Issue for the chasing number three car of Yusuf Owega getting just caught up in traffic as our race leader Dennis Marshall and the number 16 Sheriff Sport Audi got through as they headed down towards Brunchen and Espar. The car so much more, uh, again, I suppose more static and more benign uh, and more stable. The car was very, not, I suppose, yeah, it was quite pitch sensitive forward and backwards. And as a result, um, there was just so many, one of the best in the business in terms of uh, engineering departments behind them, which is ProDrive. And they need no introduction to any motorsport enthusiast uh, their engineering capability stretches back 40 years b10 class leader that's the number 188 fk performance motorsport entry 35th overall we've got the sbat class leader that's the number 150 the team bilstein by black falcon and then in 39th place overall cup three leader the 959 srs team saw green sport entry it's the sb4 class leader in 49th place overall and that's the subaru wrx the number 88 from subaru technica international 51st place sees the at3 leader that's number 50 max cruise racing car and then in 55th the at2 leader the 320 the four motors entry uh, 59th we've got sp7's class leader that's the number 80 plus running on slick tires the fricadelli ferrari number one with uh, now Nico Veroni manages to pull it up just in time to turn around on the hard standing and get back going again. Tim Heineman and Heine Heineman is coming down into the braking zone for turn one, and there's just no grip there. The car goes straight on, almost like if you hit ice on the road into the gravel trap. Managed to keep it going and not get stuck there. Did Tim Heineman in that number 44 Porsche? There's another uh, Porsche Cayman GT4 in there as well. Does it have all the information? Oh, uh, yo, 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 yo. So the driver makes the call to the engineer and then because of the can prove there's a spin for the number 119 uh, Porsche Cup a machine racing in the Cup 2 category that's the that's last year's winner the uh, click I can't even pronounce that click Verhung's team um, you speak German David what how do I pronounce that oh click god here we go you put me on the <laughs> click uh, Versicherung team there you go there we go we got click your, for, is it Versicherung is insurance so it's click insurance your good ladies applauding your German there oh, <laughs> <laughs> fantastic <laughs> fantastic she's stuff. the actor here we'll see it you, you come here for his defense here yeah <laughs> that's a good explanation <laughs> the ABS through yeah there you go so I think there was maybe the code 60 cleared before the um there's a green flag there there was a green flag so you, there's a double there's a waved yellow on the left so caution then there's a double waved yellow which is 120 so vantor slows 120 but then there might have been a code 60 on the left but it may have cleared but this car's going so slow and um yeah i mean there was there's enough visibility, I would say, there. I'm not sure why he didn't react. Maybe he thought he was... Wins for Phoenix. Uh, they can't both be right, um, by the looks of things. Frank Stippler, of course, wow. ultra experienced here, trying to make his way past... Between nine and uh, midnight. So we will... Oh, yo, 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 yo. Close racing between Heinemann and we know Felipe Fernandez Laza. Because of this 25.3 kilometre track, that's pretty much down to the driver's responsibility of calling the right tyre. It's not like the rain is going to come like we saw at Le Mans in 2008, where you had the you had Howden here 